What up guys? Um, today I'm going to be showing you guys on how to get The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom up and running and make sure that you guys are able to play at a decent frame rate and um, get your game up and running smoothly, alright? So these are the settings over here in the Yuzu emulator, okay? Um, so we have The Legend of Zelda, Zelda uh, Tears of the Kingdom, alright? So what you guys want to do is go to emulation. Before you guys start up the game, you guys want to go to emulation inside the emulator, go to configure. Alright, so over here on the left hand side, we got the general, we got system, we got CPU, we got graphics, we got audio and controls. Now, over here, you guys don't want to really mess with none of this on the top. Um, these boxes, you guys can leave this all default, okay? System, um, you guys want to leave this all default, okay? And the uh, CPU, let's see, we we can actually leave this default as well. The graphics, we can actually, you know, we can tweak this. Okay, so the API right here, we can change this, all right? So if you guys have a AMD, you guys want to leave this on Vulkan, okay? An AMD chipset. Or if you guys have NVIDIA, you guys want to switch it to OpenGL, okay? So I have NVIDIA and it works uh, pretty good for me. Um, I'm able to get this game up and running past 30 frames per second. All right. And down here where it says shader, uh, you guys can uh, leave this. But if you guys do have NVIDIA, you guys just want to click on that. All right. So down here where it says full screen mode, you guys can uh, by default, you guys can load the game up. And whatever way that you guys want by full screen or a borderless window um, aspect ratio, uh, ratio you guys can leave that alone and down here where it says resolution um, the one times is pretty much standard and it will pretty much run smoothly alright so pretty much the lower this is the faster your game will run all right, so if you guys go down and it says two times, three times, four times, this is actually for 4K, 8K, uh, 22K, you know, whatever. Um, but yeah, if you guys set this on a higher resolution, okay, it would uh, stutter your game and you guys are not going to get the best performance. So I would recommend for you guys to have a low-end PC or a medium PC. Um, I would just stick with the the one times, or if you guys have a uh, a decent computer, a, a not not so bad computer like a, a medium computer. This this right here is another um, default right here. You guys can and choose one one point five times. This is 1080p, all right. But it's also experimental, so um, if you guys have problems with the one point five times, I would just switch back to uh, one times, all right. So I'm going to go with the 1.5 times because I have a gaming uh, laptop. And right here, Billionaire, you guys want to keep this and, on Billionaire, okay? Um, and if you guys feel like you guys want to tweak these settings over here, you guys can actually do that as well. Okay, whatever, what, whatever works best for you guys, all right? So this one right here, where it says anti-analysing uh, method, all right? So you guys can choose one of these, but um, it is not recommended if you guys don't have a good computer. Um, I'm just going to leave that off for now. Um, this is just all extra uh, graphics to get your game a little bit more running with the, the GPU side of things. Um, now, let's see what else we can do here. Um... There was another thing that I want to do. Oh yeah, audio. Let's see. You guys can choose whatever audio settings that you guys want. Um, I got the headphones going on, so I'm just going to use my headphones right here. Alright, so input. That's for uh, audio coming in. Alright, so you guys can choose. I got the game capture device as well. Um, and the stereo, if you guys want surround sound, you guys can choose that or the stereo. Alright. Now, for the controls, alright. I'm going to uh, show you guys on how to set up the controls, okay. So, go ahead and grab your 
PlayStation controller, your Xbox controller, whatever you guys prefer. Right now, I'm going to be using the uh, PS5 controller, okay? So what you guys want to do is uh, select Pro Controller, okay? And for mine, it's going to be, I think it's DualSense. Alright, yep. DualSense controller for the PS5, okay guys? Or it should say uh, PS5 down here in the drop top list right here. Alright, so make sure you guys select Pro Controller. And as soon as you guys uh, select that, you guys got no other problems. Uh, all the the buttons should work. All right, and you guys should be up and running from there. Now, over here in profile, if you guys want to, uh, you know, save a profile, you guys can do that as well. Um, just hit new, and then enter your profile. Say PS5. Okay, select that. And there it is, and then you just go down here and uh, select OK. Alright, is there another thing that I'm missing over here? Um, the motion controls are selected, vibration. Um, yeah, just hit OK, and you guys should be up and running. And then go right ahead and launch your uh, Zelda game. And that is it for me, and that's all I got for you guys today. Um, if you guys enjoyed the video, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, alright? It's, uh, your boy Gamer Kings, alright? And I'm out of here, guys. Peace out.